Hey everybody. So the uh, body of the MakerBot is all done. What I've got to do now is the extruder, which is, they call it a plastruder for the plastic extruder. Uh, so this is actually a fairly complex bit of work, it seems to be at least. We'll see, there's 25 pages of directions. I got the uh, laptop dialed into their wiki page as well. And uh, pretty much ready to go. The only other thing to do after this is the automated build platform. This is 55 pages worth of directions. Soldering iron and all sorts of fun. So I expect that'll be definitely the most complex piece out of all. So let's just pull some pieces out of here. I did a minor amount of work on this a couple weeks ago, but I didn't have everything I needed at the time, so there's just more fiddling around. And here's the parts. I attached these to, uh, I think they're heat sinks. I'll find out when we get to that point in the directions. But that was pretty much it. There's a fair amount of work to do. And it looks like the other thing I did was to peel off all the crap off the plexiglass. Perspex, as it's called in some parts of the world. And I'll probably have to build, pull the uh, build platform out of the uh, MakerBot itself when I get to that point. I'll just take a moment here and get all these pieces laid out. And this looks to be the first piece we're working with. Of course, the problem with scotch tape is it leaves crap all over the place. If you leave it on too long. One fundamental problem about the directions is that while they're generally legible, they're not always that intelligible. So here you've got a couple uh, totally clear parts. Here it says plate A, which is definitely based on the shape here. Then you have an almost seemingly identical photo, which says plate B. And it looks like I should not have put these down quite yet. Of course, it also always helps to uh, read the directions ahead of time, familiarize yourself with the process, and then actually go about doing it so you can see where things are actually going and the reasons why things are done. As so while I suggest scotch taping your parts together, this stuff is really filthy. Granted, I probably shouldn't have left it on for quite as long as I did, but... Okay, so... There's that entire effort wasted.
Uh, so here's another good example where uh, it says plate D. And the parts, nothing is listed as plate A, B, C, D, whatever. So here's a perfect example. They could have been A, B, C, D, and so on, and they didn't bother. So now I'm dealing with a transparent piece on top of a dark piece on top of transparent pieces. And while the photo generally seems to indicate this one, And they took the bother to laser cut their name and the Plastruder Mark V into uh, the plastic here. They didn't bother to put part D, top, bottom, front, back, or anything like that. Do yourself a favor and avoid using scotch tape because this is total shit. So this photo suggests that these bolts here should be sticking straight through enough to be nutted down, but they barely make it halfway through, so I don't know what's going on here already. Considering I just built the entire rest of it with no problems whatsoever, I also now see these parts don't necessarily line up. 